Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 10, called Childish Thing. It might be things, but I don't know, I have childish... I have a thing. Anyway, so we have the, the Toy Man escapes prison, and as we know, that is Wynn's father. And we have John and Carr are flying um, around, and they're doing training and learning different, I guess, flying techniques and stuff, or defenses and stuff like that. And then we have Cat and Lucy talk, and Cat likes her and offers her a job. Then Wen is freaked out about Toy Man because the FBI actually come to his place of work and actually say his little name. And so we have that whole thing. So, yeah. So then we cut to, um, let's see, Lucy is thinking about taking the job. And then we have Wen is, um, like I said, Toy Man's son and gets a backstory and, like, how basically, like, his dad was like, I guess like the, I guess like the best dad until he got fired from his job, and then he tried to kill his boss. So that's why he went all cuckoo in the crazy pants. And that um, tells the FBI like I haven't seen him, haven't talked to him, he hasn't left me anything. But then he talks to Car and says that he contacted him through a um, toy bear or some type of toy and wants to meet him. And so the car tells that you need to tell the FBI. So he does tell them. And they have the DO uh, think of a strategy to break into Max's lab. Then Alex tries to convince Henshaw to do it. He says no because um, he could transform into Max and actually get in there. But he says no. And at first he's very standoff about it because I, I guess it happened before and it didn't work out too good. So we have Wynn is wearing a wire at an old arcade place. And then we have James and Lucy bicker over the job. And because like, she kind of wants a job and wants to be near James. But he's kind of feeling like seeing the office about it. Because, even, you know, they're dating. And then we throw work into it. They're going to be like together a lot. And he doesn't think that's a good idea. I think that's how it went. <clears throat> and then Alex asks... Alex? asked Max out on a date. He says yes, so they arranged something. So then Henshaw agrees to do it, and then we have the Toy Man and Wynn talk, and he's being cray, like literal crazy pants. And then Wynn gets really pissed off at him, and then the FBI comes in and returns out as a hologram, and he literally gasses everybody. Then Supergirl uh, gets rid of it by sucking it all in and then going up in the air and blowing it all out. And we have Alex basically looks hot as she looks really hot when she goes uh, on the date for Max. Then Kat wants to extort when and then we have Max is flirting with Alex and Slash trying to get info, info Slash on both sides. So, it's not really working that great, but a little bit. And then we have Wynn impersonates Max Lord at, uh, at the corporation that he works. <laughs> Tired today. So, he goes through the room because he can't get through the eye technology because it's, like, really, really, really advanced. And he sees a Jane Doe, and then we see a guard come in, and... He, the guard is very suspicious of him, so he knocks the guy out and wipes his mind. And then we have Wynn. It's a real fun location of the Toy Man. And it's creepy as F there. It's, like, super creepy. And then uh, Shot basically puts her in quicksand. And then there's a girl in a box, but there's not really a girl in the box. Then Shot uh, leaves with Wynn, and so she breaks out, and the girl was a doll. So Alex and Henshaw talk about what he did, and basically, like when he wiped his the prisoner the guard's uh, mind, he literally wiped it, like all of it. <laughs> and then we have Max uh, has a backup camera system and sees what happened. And then we have Win is mad slash freaked out that he will be the same as Toy Man. Uh, so Win did not go. My bad. 
And so um, then when Kara reassures him that, um, you know, that basically he has all this pent up emotion about Kara. And so he literally kisses her and then freaks out and then leaves. So he's afraid that he was going to use all that pent up energy towards Kara and then push it down and that would turn him into a bad person. And he doesn't want to do that. So then the toy man kidnaps Wynn. He's acting cray. And he's going to make Wynn uh, basically kill a man at this toy expo with a toy gun. That's not really a toy gun. And uh, through Toy Con. And he planted 10 bombs and 10 toys unless he does it. So uh, he wants to be just like him. He wants him to be like him. I'm like, really? Like, psychotic as hell. And so, um, he goes to, so he's going to do it. And then the FBI almost kills him, but Supergirl blocks it and looks for the bombs and gets rid of them and then knocks out Toy Man. And then we have Lucy and James talk and he wants to, he wants to do something else. He doesn't want to take, like, pictures really anymore he wants to do something else different then when freaks feels guilty about kissing car and she says that he's in love with her but she she does not feel the same way and car and alex talk she knows about when and she and then we find out that maxwell lord planted a device on alex's purse and now you know car is supergirl so basically um the i'll give this a plus episode I love Wynn's backstory. It's psychotic on how crazy um, the dad is. Like, super psychotic. But um, you get to feel that, you know, that he actually turned out really well compared to what he could have been if, you know, if he had to deal with all that crazy. And the fact that he's so terrified he's going to turn into that makes him, like, a better person, which Carr pointed out to him. And, you know, it's like, just poor Wynn. Or when he never really gets the girl, but you know. But I feel like he's a really good character, and the fact they fleshed out his backstory a lot, you know, that's pretty cool. So I really did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, just uh, and also the guy at Toy Con, the guy that I was heading it was his old boss, so that's why he was so psycho about going there. But like my thing is like, what? <sighs> They ain't got to put that man on some medication or something. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's wonderful for this episode. It was a really good episode. I mean, that's the end of this video. So I, like I said, give it A+. Plus. Comment down below what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? And just leave some comments down below for any other suggestions for any, any other shows, um, movies, or music. And I'll see you in my next video. So just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.